far from civilization, where jungle has its own rules, is one of the oldest rainforests on earth. The monsoon season gives way to an epic flood every year. And do you see that blue roof? It goes up to there. 13 people, two days, one night in a jungle, sleeping in a cave, trekking for 16 kilometers, wild creatures, just for one reason, to challenge ourselves. We are going to explore Taman Negara. How to reach Taman Negara? We booked a bus from one travel agency, the contacts you can find in the description. The ride will take around two and a half, three hours from Kuala Lumpur to Jerantut. From Jerantut, you will take the boat to the village Kuala Tahan, which will take another three hours. So we finally reached Taman Negara rainforest and it took us seven and a half hours by bus and then by ferry. Uh, once you arrive in Taman Negara, you have to get this passport in order for you to enter the rainforest without it. Otherwise, you will be fined up to 10,000 ringgit. By the way, if you are traveling in the group, you can get only one passport. So it's enough. So you just need to pay one ringgit per person and another five ringgit for each camera that you have. The actual rainforest is located in the front of the village. So right now we are in the village and in order for us to cross the river, we can take boat which costs one ringgit for one way. Taman Negara is the third oldest rainforest on earth after Daintree Forest in Australia and Borneo Lowland Rainforest in Indonesia. It is 130 million years old. Even Amazon is on the first place. Taman Negara is the perfect place if you like trekking and outdoor activities. There are many, many activities like rafting, rapid shooting, camping, caving, fishing, and trekking. two days one night in Tamanagara forest going to sleep in a cave with these people okay we are going to take another boat we're, take, we're taking two boats and so far we are 12 in total a group of people from Taiwan and us we have a private one Season, After November, December, hours, and January, this place water level floods. Can be so, high and so water level can be so high, 74 meters. And do you see that blue roof? It goes up to there. Wow. Oh. All right. So 2014 is a record. Remember that passport that I showed you a bit earlier? So we had to pass the passport to our guide. Before entering Tamanagara, you need to fill the form, mentioning how many plastic bottles you have, how many clothes you're bringing, how many cans you bring. So this is to make sure that you bring all back to the city, to the village. After you're done with all of this little stuff, you will be taking a boat 
and the ride takes one and a half hours to a destination and then from there we will hike eight kilometers. Militan Research Station. Okay. So we'll have lunch here and then we will start our trek. No. no rules in jungle, no protocol. Mm. That you pay. The good thing about the rain, yeah, in the jungle, just take a rest. That's why we say rain for rest. Our guide's name is Aa, and during the trekking, he shared a few tips on how to survive in the jungle. So that's my short name, yeah? Uh -huh. Today we're going to walk like more or less 8 kilometers. Mosquito, yeah? Only here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because now in the jungle, you can feel that even if you put your inside the pillow and not walking, you get sweat a lot because humidity can be 100%. Okay, finally, we are starting our trail. You're gonna start your trail with a small tunnel for me. Monkey, that's why they say monkey is one of the important animal. If the monkey eating the fruit, that means human also they can eat. Alright, so this one of the thing, yeah? Now beginning of the fruit season, eh? Thing when they happen to you, you have to stop. You don't put it in front, you just turn back. Okay, you turn back, yeah? This one. Okay. So, thank you for watching Discovery Channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, a real National Geographic here. People who live here, they call them Orang Asli, and they are originating themselves from Australia, from Papua New Guinea, and they stay here. So, they moved from Australia then to Indonesia, and now in Malaysia. I mean, nomad. Really? Because in wow. I mean in Australia still like frozen, mm -hmm. you know, still like yeah, ice, but here it's normal. Mm -hmm. So that's why originally from Australia to Indonesia, and then some of them come to the end of even in Vietnam, a few of them. Mm -hmm. Blood sucker wow. they say because they suck the blood. Actually the leash. In, in English mm -hmm. they call it leash, yeah. It's good, right? You can see that. It's good, yeah? It's good. That's, that's why some of the part like Chinese medicine they use for the medicine, uh, you know. Can be good, yeah? Better. <laughs> Blood donation for the next generation, yeah? This one is too small, yeah? Now I show you. I light on the fire. Blood uh, See? Oh, yeah. oh. Because of the temperature, yeah? Oh, okay. Alright, this one. See that? Now they're confused. A lot of temperature. I'm here. Okay, they're going to suck your blood. It's from smallest here. Okay, this one just to grip to your skin, yeah? Sometimes the people, when they see them, they do like... You know, it's not good because you don't know where they go. Maybe to your body or something. Okay. The thing, you take it and then you do like this one. Because sometimes stick it and then you put here. Then you know where they go. You okay. see that, you know? Uh, this is a crazy thing. Even you do like this one, you still not killing them. Uh -huh. Just make them higher. Yeah? High. <laughs> okay? Uh -huh. Alright? When they bite, we not feel anything. Yeah? That's a good thing. We just no bleeding. Okay? okay. Jungle doctor. So if it's sucking your blood, it's okay. Do not panic. This is Rangasli village. They usually stay here during the monsoon because during the monsoon, the le um, level of the water increases and the place where they are staying, it's not livable. That's why they are coming and build this kind of small chalets. We just finished 500 meters only. This is the yeah. antiseptic. Yeah. Okay. And it's good. This one, when you get rest or when you sleep, you know, it's not moving yet. That's good. Yeah, it's okay. Okay? Now you can smell that. You can pass to the people, yeah? But not too much, you're getting high. 
Okay. Okay. No. That's good. It's like okay. a herb. Like that. In local, we call it sanduduk, yeah? Or the sanduduk. Yeah. Stoma. Some people say they have the smell the thing like this one in the temple. Yeah, this you know, but it's a different thing, yeah? Yeah, it's a different thing, but it's different mm. moment, yeah? Same smell. Yeah, same smell. Almost same smell, yeah? yeah. Like incense or... Uh, yeah. In the temple, they are used... You smell that? In yeah. the temple, they use from the sandalwood. Yeah. Oh, sandal. Rising. Rising. You know, some people say later, yeah? For the local people, you can see some of the boat left and then the right of the boat, they got the black thing. Mm. Because the local people, they used to make like a glue. Oh. You know, to close the hole in the boat, yeah? Because they can be wow. sticky. You can see mm -hmm. that. Okay? So we can use to make like a glue, yeah? Mm. Okay? Another thing, after the rain, everything is wet. You can use this one for candlelight. Oh. Or fire burning. Easy for burning, yeah? Wow. Okay? Like charcoal. If you get lost to the jungle, you look for this one. You burning, hopefully someone smelling because only when you burn they got smell. Uh. This is what we call the thousand foot, yeah? Or millipi. Millipi is a Latin language. Thousand Mili foot. is mean thousand. And then pi is mean foot. Thousand foot. You can see that. Okay? This one, you can feel how strong. Oh yeah. Alright. Can I hold it? Yeah, moment, yeah. Wow. Moment. Ooh. This is jacuzzi of elephants. <laughs> look, look at the poo. We just finished two kilometers. to the halfway four kilometers are gone four kilometers to go look at this okay this is a cave after six hours we made it we reached eight kilometers we're not yet there so we just need to take a bit more that's all this is a cave i never made it it's huge Hi Joe, we made it. Good job, good job. This is our dinner. Okay, this is the way how to make a tea. And this is rice. Mmm, it smells so good. <laughs> Thank you. We are going to explore cave in the dark. Some people were thinking the bed acting with the eyes. No. Ear. Oh. You know, so that's why when you stop you can see the the you know the always shaking, yeah? So day and then the night he was totally the same, yeah? Snack! Snake. They don't like the flashlight, sometimes they're aggressive. Okay? See that one? Wow. Okay? Mm. Yeah, so, this snack, what we call the cave razor snack, yeah? They're not poisonous. They're not poisonous, yeah? They bite though? They bite, but only the bat. Sometimes the frog, yeah? But human? Ah, uh, no. Only if they're aggressive, yeah? You know how to know poisonous snack and not poisonous no. snack? One of the okay. things is the ice. Okay. Uh, poisonous snake strike ice, not poisonous ball ice. Oh. That's one of the things. Yeah? But to, to become more clear on the tail, you can see like this one, you know, on the last part after the sheet place, you know. But if you see that like, they got another bone in the middle, like this one, that one more poisonous. That's one of the things. Yeah? We left our cave and we're going to roam around. Now we're going to see the termite. Oh. Go, go, go. Don't lean your ass. It was an ant. This is how you reach the cave. For us, it was challenging and interesting. In the next video, we will visit another cave, exploring closely the bats, having a rest by the river, and experience other places in Tamanagara. See you in the next one, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.
Thank you so much.